Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Project Hydra. Hey guys, welcome back, welcome back. Uh, how you all been? Uh, yes, well, I got a lot of get done to this this episode. Um, so let's get started straight away. Um, first thing I got to do though is I got to shriek. Okay, and that out the way, let's get a look over at what we've been doing. Uh, so I've got I've done a lot of stuff off camera, so. Um, I'm going to head over to the gold farm, and we'll run underneath the gold farm. Let's have a quick look. Um, I know Chairman's been over here doing some stuff, uh, and I have done a little bit of work here, so we've got this stuck in there with the hoppers going down. Um, that collects all of our gold, which is going to fill up if we AFK. And right over here we've got a hole in the floor which takes us down now. This is a new one. So this takes us down to the back of the gold farm, which is had a quite a bit of work done uh, in here. And oh, wow, oh yeah, wow, we've had a lot of work done in here. Uh, ah, so Chairman has been in here. Obviously, Chairman has been in here. He's been very busy. Uh, so what we've got going on here? So oh, that probably wasn't a very good thing to do, was it? Uh, Chairman's been down here and he has set up the sorting system. I left him a message yesterday uh, asking him if he uh, could set up a sorting system for all of the drops we're going to get from our um, piglin trading. And I got a few extra piglins over here ready to, to go in. So if we uh, if we need any extras, what we got going on here? That's going to drop that back in. So I'm guessing that's going to recycle everything back through this system here. Now oh, these have got hoppers under there. Oh, they've got hoppers underneath now. So, okay, so the drops are going to come out of there. But he must be funneling them underneath here. And then he's sending them up here. Because obviously you can't use water in the nether, can you? So he must be coming up through the droppers into the hoppers, and then they're going through this little system here. Uh, and coming through, I've got a boat out there still with a piglin in it. There's another one of those bodyguards over there. Um, yeah, so there's a lot of work went on over here, and uh, a lot of stuff got done last, uh, or off camera, should I say. Um, I built out some extra modules here, so I was going to, I was going to expand and build a couple more out, but I guess Chairman's done the um, the sorting system there, so I think we'll just leave it at the six actually, but. These are pretty straightforward modules. You just double chest at the front, uh, hopper going into the chests, a uh, bit of carpet that just wedges them in place with the glass on top, uh, and then you've got glass surrounds. So I've got a block here, solid block, with a redstone torch on the back, block above that, and we've got a dropper right at the top there, and then we have a hopper system going into the top of that to feed it, wrap the whole thing up in glass, uh, and essentially on, on top of this block, uh, such as a, a um, uh, not trap door, a pressure plate. Uh, so this, what happens is the gold gets dispensed out of this one out of here. Um, that drops onto the pressure plate. That the piglin picks it up, which triggers this torch, which triggers another piece of gold to come out and sits there waiting. Once he's finished with a bit of gold, he drops that in here and then picks up the gold, and the cycle continues till it's run out of gold. This little one on the end here was something I was playing around with. Uh, so this one here has got a... Um, we take the comparator input out of the back of this. So that goes redstone. Three dots of redstone into a block with a torch, into another block. That's a redstone on top of that with a sticky piston. So this one's the same as the other ones, but this one's slightly different in that it retracts the piston while the gold nugget ingots on the, the pressure plate so as soon as the piglin picks that up, it pops the block out, chucks another gold ingot and pulls that back. Um, this design uh, for this really is just kind of, if the chest will back up, then it locks this hopper, sends a signal out and it retracts this block and this just kind of locks everything up so that it doesn't keep on dispensing gold even though all the hoppers are full, but I don't think we're going to have a problem with that now that we've got the sorting systems gone in. But what we do need to do, one of the things I did yesterday when I was playing around with this, uh, I made a bit of a mistake with this hopper line. So we're going to take this out. Oop, didn't want to take that out, did I? 
Uh, let's just fill that back in there. Yeah, so I made a mistake with this hopper line, so what I'll do is take these out. Let's just pop up on top of here. That one's okay. It's these ones here. It's these guys. These ones, this one, and then this one. I'll just pop down and make sure we pick all the hoppers up. I think that's just ended up in there. Yep, there we go. Going up and back. Uh, let's pop up top. So as you'll see, what you see is this one's facing down, and then these two, or this one between. Well, the one in between isn't quite right. What I should have had was a line of hoppers on top of the ones that are facing down, because the ones that are facing down are the ones that feed into the... Uh, oh, a lot of gold there we just picked up. Where does that come from? Oh, I missed that bit. Let's clear that way. Uh, yeah, so we'll grab that one there and that one there. Right, so what we got? A few bits of gold. There's a few in there. There's a few in there. What we should have, actually, is... Um, is, if I just pop that there for a moment, what we should have is the line of hoppers going over the top of... So, when the gold runs through, it runs through the hoppers over the top. Because I think, as you know, I think these, these hoppers is gold, is the, um... Can I hear... Can I hear activate? Hmm. Uh, anyway, yeah, so the gold, um... We'll run over the hoppers, and it will get, I think it goes, uh, it'll go over the top, and it'll go, I think it goes down before it goes uh, along, so it will actually, um, it'll actually get pulled down by the hopper, and, oh, can't do what I want to do, uh, oh, there we go, fell in the hole again, I'm not having much luck here, uh, it'll actually get pulled down, and then go across, or is it across and down, can't remember. It's one or the other. <laughs> um, but yeah, essentially, this needed to be a block higher. And well, piglins all over the place now, so I've got to be careful with opening chests and stuff. Because they, they get a bit angry when you open chests. Just be quiet, don't tell them I did it. There we go. This needs to be a... So let's pull this back to here. I think one more. That one, and then what we need to do is this also make it a little bit better for us getting around um, up here as well without having to have horrible stairs and stuff like that. So let's take that one, and I want to take that one as well. And then what we'll do is now we can take oh, now we can take this line of hoppers can run all the way back and run them directly underneath the downpipe from upstairs. Remember I showed you up top we had uh, the chest with some hoppers underneath they come down through the hole that we put in so they'll come down they'll run along this uh, line of hoppers here, and they will get deposited into the droppers at the top, and into the system, and then the piglins will be able to do their bits and pieces. So if I just go and put this gold in here, there we go, you'll see that starts filtering out along the hopper line, and I believe, yep, yeah, it should start going into the first one. So it should fill the first one up, then it'll fill the second one up, and it'll head on through and just fill the system. So if I go down, while that's filling, we can activate this guy, and you can see this one working. There we go. There we are. 
so it's dispensed. So there we go. And it keeps on just spitting gold out, and the gold sits there waiting for the piglin to pick it up. And away it goes. And then over this side. There we go. So you'll hear the sorting system firing because this guy is sending stuff through. So there is also we can get down and have a look. We've got so we've got blackstone, gravel, spectral arrows. I do like the spectral arrows, they are quite nice. We've got this uh what was this? I remember what that is. Nether brick. That's it. We've got nether brick. Soul sand. Lots of leather. Fire charges. Crying obsidian and obsidian. And quartz. Quartz is a lovely block to build with. We've got plenty of string. We've got plenty of ender pearls. And a nice big supply of ingots. And then over the back we've got our single items. So the non-stackables. Which is always nice to, to have sorted out. Um, we can sort through those and decide what we want to keep and what we want to get rid of. But uh, yeah, it's good to, good bit of work here. So I'm going to leave this now. So we've sorted that little problem out with the hoppers. But that's so uh, yeah, it's cleared up quite nicely now. So you can move around quite nicely without the hoppers being in the way. So I'm just going to grab. Um, I don't think I need this, but I'm going to take it anyway. Uh, yeah, so I'm just going to leave that, and we're going to head back to the base, uh, through the hole in the roof. Up we go. And then, if I come around the front here, because we've got quite a bit of gold here now, haven't we? So, we should have, yep, yeah, there we go. So, let's just grab this. Let's just pop that into there. So, here we go. Let's see, you see we can convert the gold up into ingots. Uh, like so. And then... We can pop the ingots into the chest, like so, and they'll go off on their merry way into the system. Happy days. So that's the gold farm and the piglin biting farm. Uh, back at uh, the base. Oh, I'm going to show you the. I'm going to show you what I did over at the shopping district because um, quite busy off camera. There's been quite a bit going on. Uh, we had a little bit of an adventure over at Changes. Uh, Guardian farm. That was uh, fun. Lots of deaths. You can see the the old death count has gone up a little bit from, uh, from what it was last episode. Yeah, I, I died a lot. I lost lost quite a bit of my stuff as well. But hey, we do not talk about that. Um, anyway, at the shopping district, uh, we have um, we have moved the end portal. It used to be over here. I believe it was around about here somewhere. No, maybe not there. Maybe a bit further over, or a bit this way, maybe. Uh, somewhere around here. Been moved. Anyway, uh, we moved that and covered the old one up. Not too worried about where it was. Let's just put those back. And anyway, we moved the old portal and we, we moved it over here. And I built this. Um, portal now which is quite nice we've got the beacon and we've got this the honey block slide so you can slide down and descend into the portal room and there we go there's your portal room and then there's a quick way out with the you know, bubble elevator that gets you back out again so that was all nice that was quite nicely built um I don't know what else we've got going on here. Oh yeah, the uh, I, I bought I I cleaned out Chairman. He had these day passes going. I thought you know I'd clean them out. I bought all the day passes. I was just stuck them back in there, free of charge. Courtesy of Bonded Salt. It's my shop. Um, Changer. We uh, we managed to get hold of Changer's head, so we uh, swapped out the villagers head with Changer. So we've got Changer. Um, directing the way at the, the shop. What have we got on here? This is a new shop. What have we got going? Selling logs. Soon to come. Flower seeds, flower pot. Oh, nice. So we're going to have some flowers. And we've got plenty of logs going on here. Okay, that's good. And sticks. All logs, one stack for a diamond. What have we got going up here? Is that sticks for sale? Sticks. And how much are the sticks? Okay. That's cool like it. 
don't know what else we've got going on here. Not much else has changed, I don't think, at the moment. We've got the town hall's gone up. I don't know if anyone saw the town hall. Um, might show you briefly last episode. We've got the town hall, we've got the clock gone in there that uh, the chairman built. I wanted to show you this, really. This was the, the, the main bit I wanted to show you. So I've got this. I uh, used white concrete, built this, um, like, pedestal out of the white concrete to, to cover over the, sort of the top of the, the porch to make it look a bit nicer. And then I've got this kind of globe on top, which has the portal beam going through it. So this nice purple block um, portal. Uh, um, globe sat on top, a little bit like the balloon, but yeah, I think it looks pretty cool. It's got a nice little effect. Um, but yes, yeah, head back to the uh, head back to the base. Ow! Oh, ouch! Okay, we'll just walk around the front and into the portal. There we go. That's better than trying to kill ourselves. Kinetic energy. Right, let's head back to base. Here we are. Oh, wrong side. I want to get this decorated, but at some point I'm going to come back to that. Um, what I do want to get done today is, firstly, I need to sleep. Secondly, um, yeah, I started getting a... I started this. I'm going to do this rest, finish that off off camera. But what I do want to do is I want to carry on with this build over here of the monument. So to Today, in this episode, what I want to try and do is get the main body of the monument built up uh, and then we can take a look at it from there. So I'm going to go and do that and it's, you know, it's time to start the first, uh, the first time lapse for this episode. So I'm going to, I'm going to get into that, I'm going to throw into that time lapse, we're going to build up the main body of the monument and I'll be back when that's done.
Taken a bit of time. Uh, spent much of the last uh, three days building what we can see here, which is uh, if I can get a better look at what we've got. It's, let's go, um, it's basically an angel um, kneeling uh, over the top of the portal. Um, this is supposed to be her hands here, and you come through, and there's the portal which we talked about. Um, Cool, there's still a few bits to do. Uh, head back out here. I've got to mob proof this and I've been looking at ways to do that. I think buttons might be the way to go. Um, scattering buttons everywhere. <laughs> these are um, these are burnt buttons. It's probably the lightest I can do. Or maybe pressure plates. I'm going to try out a few things. We'll see how it, how it kind of looks. But if we, um, we fly out and take a look, you can see still a bit to do. Still got to get the um, the wings and uh, the head piece put in, but it's coming along, and we've got we've got the eyes in. Uh, so we're going to be gathering a few more resources, take some of the iron from the farm, put the wings up in the back here, and then we've got a load of obsidian that we're going to need to get from our piglin bathroom farm, which is now up and running quite nicely. And uh, we're going to take a look at that in a sec. But yeah, so that's the farm. That's the uh, the that's the the statue, and I'll carry on building that uh, a bit more off camera. First, though, I want to head over and see Chairman. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Where um, whereabouts are you? Where am I? Yeah. Do you mean? Oh, I've come over to your base, but I can't find you. I'm not in my base. Okay, well, I guess that because you're not here. No, I, I am in the nether. Ah, okay. I'm after a couple more name okay. tags. That's a couple more what? Name tags. How many do you need? I have emeralds. I'll be there in two sets. Just, um, 20 emeralds? Jesus. They're pricey, aren't they? Oh, my boys are pricey, yeah. Um, well, they are to me, anyway. Me too, sex. Not to you. <laughs> Pretty pricey on the name tags, aren't they? Um, give me two sex and I'll be there. I'm just um, placing TNT. Cool. In the nether, because you know, it's a fun activity for me. Um, have you noticed the nether has appeared at my base? I, I did notice that. I am going to have a quick look at that while I'm waiting for you to uh, appear. I spotted that Somehow a nether appeared. Yeah, I, I did spot that. It's um, pretty impressive. Well, the nether appeared. Is this part of a um, nether fortress as well? A mini fortress. Hmm? It's like a growing one. It's like yeah. a growing fortress. It's a little, it's only tiny at the moment. Yeah. That's it's like a little cool. mini fortress. That's still I have I finally come up with a theme for the base. Okay. Hey. You remember Doom? The video game Doom? Hmm. No. Oh. Well, he's well, that's the base for name tags. Um, oh yeah, my portal got quite big. Hmm, you can see that. <laughs> that's why you needed all the obsidian. Yeah, yeah, that's why we had the obsidian run. Yeah, I need, I need a ton of obsidian as well. 
Yeah. Um, yeah, we need to probably fly back to the main base. I finally decided on a theme. Yeah. So in Doom, they look for alternative energy on Mars. Right. Um, and it inadvertently opened up a gateway to hell. Okay. So I've decided I'm going to just do a Doom base. So this oh. is like oh, the industrial bit. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. You must remember Doom. Oh, I've heard of Doom. Yeah. Okay. You know Doom, and they open up that for ardent energy, and then, like, all the demons get out. Because, you know. Yeah. I've got 48. 48? I only need two. <laughs> oh! Two. Thank you very much. I thought you needed more than that. No, no, I need two. I need, I, I got that. We're going to go over and name our, our dogs. I got a couple of suggestions off the last video, so we're going to go over and give our dogs some new names. Yeah, I need to leave. Thank you very much for those. Cool. I shall talk to you later. Okay, here we are back at the industrial district. Uh, if you remember the last episode when I was uh, over here, I showed you the two dogs that I'd, I'd got and I asked for some suggestions for, um, for dog names. I don't know what I'm going up here. Everything I need is in my ender chest. So let's just fly back over here. Uh, we need to pop this down. Uh, yeah, so I asked for some suggestions for names that I could give to the two dogs I have and some of you came up with some, uh, some ideas. So that's exactly what we're going to do right now. We're going to give our dogs, if I can create an anvil, we're going to give our dogs some names. We'll put the anvil down there, we've got our two name tags. So the names that were suggested were from uh, Mr. Knight and from Mr. Fandoman. Go. That's the name tags done, and we come over to our two dogs. And here's our two dogs, and here is King and Pickles. So we have King Pickles, King Pickles. There you go, boys. Now you got names. Happy days. All right, that's that sorted out. All right, next thing on the list is to what am I seeing in the chat? Pumpkin Emporium. Ooh. I think I need to do some purchases because I'm running low on pumpkins. I've only got one left. That's quite handy actually because I need to go over to the shopping district anyway. Here we are at the shopping district. Okay, oh. The diamond pile seems to have uh, relocated. That must be um, in the town hall. Let's have a quick look around. Uh, we'll grab our diamonds because we're going to need them. Pop that back. Right now, where's the pumpkins? Let's have a quick look. Garden centre. Don't see any pumpkins in here. There's our TNT shop. Let's go see what the trade's doing in here. It's been a bit slow with. Oh, uh, whoops. Uh, it's been a bit slow trade wise. Can't think we're selling fireworks quite nicely, but let's have a quick look. It's. Look at that. Five diamonds for the fireworks. They're selling, but uh, yeah, not selling fast enough. That TNT. TNT doesn't seem to be a very good seller at all. Never mind. I'm not sure we'll pick up. And let's go have a look. I wonder if it's going to go over here. Let's check. JJ's hut. Pumpkins. Is it pumpkin pie? No, that's pumpkins. Uh, selling the pumpkin pies by Fando Man. So they must be they must be in Fando's Emporium. 
Fando's Emporium where he sells all his Prismarine and uh, other goodies. Right, they are one diamond per stack. Well, we are going to take five stacks. There we go. That's just what we needed. Right, that's the pumpkin pie situation result. Now we need to head over to the town hall. We need to buy a plot of our shop. And I want the shop to go right over here. I think I'll we'll put it just up on top of here. September 10 area. One. Oops, one too many. Better take that back, otherwise, we'll have the shopping police after us. Actually, have we got shopping police? I don't know. Ooh, don't even have a mayor, I thought. Ten by ten. Nothing too big. Uh, I might expand it, but it does give us another shop. We need to go get some materials. Check see what materials we have. Impressive. Impressive door. And there we go. Pop our diamond on top of the pile. Uh, pop it up right on the top. There it is. There we go. We have officially purchased another plot. Let's be really shut the door behind us. Have a look and see what sh goodies we have for building this new shop. Right, what have we got here? Sand. Sand. Let's have a. Because what I want is. Um, yeah, I think that's a good s start for us. So let's clear out this little area. And we'll put some sand down. We're going to build ourselves. I think what we're going to do is a little bit like what we've got over at our base. In fact, I think what we want is, is to build the same as we had for our starter base. If you remember, our starter base was the um, our little small pyramid that we built. And that's what I want for the shop. A nice little small pyramid, and then we will sell our wares uh, in in the pyramid and we'll have a few different items for sale that we can pop into there. So I want to make it a little bit like a desert. So we'll start off by putting these in. Uh, I think we want to fill that in with some... Actually, I think we're probably going to dig some of this back out again <laughs> and then put it down a bit lower. So. But it's a start. Let's put let's put this in first. There we go. Right, next up is to uh, let's just put that down. So next up is to make some smooth. I need smooth uh, sandstone. Let's get that. Smelt the sandstone. So let's pop that down. Never mind, I've got some smooth sandstone step, so that's a good start. But what we'll do is we're going to have the. I think we'll have the entrance. I think we'll have the entrance over this way, maybe. Or should we have it over this side? Let's have it over this side. 
So we're going to be 9 by 9 on our patch. Not quite going to sit in the middle of our 8 by 8, uh, 10 by 10 patch, is it? So um, we want kind of the middle and then. Uh, is it 9? Yeah, 4. Uh, 9. So let's start with 1, 2, 3, and then leave that. So we have 3 in the middle. Then we'll have one and two. Should we go there and then we'll go there? And we'll take that one back. There we go. That's going to be the door. And then what we'll do is we'll go one, two, that's three. That's eight. Nine. And then take this over. Side uh, there, and then we'll take this one over to here. And what we can do is take our uh, that one, that. And we'll put pillars on there, on there, and one actually, yeah, all right. that. That's cool. I think what we'll do is dig this back out again. Actually, we'll have this one, one lower. A um, bit like we had before with the, the other one. Uh, that's that. Uh, so, uh, next is... I think we had that one back, didn't we? Uh, the other pyramid, if I remember. Just put the corner down. I think we had that back one further because we have steps here. That was there. I think we had a gold block in here. We might have had that back one further. Let's just remember this a little bit. Is one back, so let's take those down. We'll put these here, and then we'll have we got oh, perfect. We've got two, let's just pop those on the floor for a moment. We'll pop those two down there, and we'll swap that out, pop those back. this off and then I'll be right back and there we go that's the pyramid uh, so we got it nicely built up what I might do is extend this out a little bit further uh, let's take these bits of wood up now there we go. what I might do is um, just extend out maybe one or two blocks either side just increase the because it kind of doesn't look right going straight from the sandstone to the mycelium so I might just extend that and place another block down if I decide to go and do that. Firstly, I need to go to my base to grab a couple of extra bit. So I'll be right back once I've got those. Hello, Bubble. And then we're back from the base. Um, we need one thing. What we need is a campfire. So we're going to need some. 
many, but we're going to need some sticks. District can see from a distance the smoke from our shop. And now, with that, right, so what we're going to do is we've got 10 by 10, which is a diamond block. So, we want to increase that and work out how many blocks we've got if we go out. We've got out by an extra two all the way around. And then we'll calculate the number of blocks we need to pay for. There we go, so counted that up, and that's uh, 14 by 14, so quick bit of math is 196 blocks, so I need to go and pop another diamond block over on the shop. Ooh, are throwing diamonds away? So I need to pop another diamond block over in the shopping, in the uh, town hall, so Let's go and do that now. I'll pop that next to the one which I popped up the top there. So we'll pop that. There we go. That's the my shop paid for. Right, so what I need to do now is go and get the produce. So I'll be back and see once I've done that. Right, here we go. So we've stocked now with fire resistance. Those and splash resistant. So let's get some. We need some signs. So we can take this out and we can make a couple of signs. Pop a sign down, and I think we'll do splash potions. We should. I think we'll do. Three for one diamond. And the fire resistance, I think we'll do six for one diamond. I don't know if that's a, a good price. Let me know in the comments if you think I should be uh, <laughs> charging something different. I think we'll go with that for now. And we've got some more stock which we're going to need to bring up here anyway, and we'll have some additional uh, chests lined up around the outside with some additional stock. We've got various items we're going to be selling in here, so this is kind of a almost like a little bit of a, a market kind of um, stall. So that's that. Final thing to do is to give the shop a name, and there we have the Great Pyramid. happy with that. Right, let's head back to the base. Okay, well, I think that's just about all the time I've got for today, for this episode. Uh, then you done, and we opened up a new shop. That's uh, that's great. Whoops. We want to avoid uh, that from happening. We've got a friend has decided to come out and greet us. We don't want that happening, do we? Okay, so that's about all the time I've got for this episode. Uh, plenty done today, we've got the shop open, uh, the Great Pyramid, and we'll be restocking that in the next uh, episodes or two. Uh, we've got the monument above us built, uh, still lots to do on that, we've still got plenty to finish off, we've got the wings to put on there, and uh, I'll do a bit more of that off camera, and then uh, we'll show you that next episode. Uh, in the meantime, thanks for watching, you've been a fantastic audience. I'll see you in the next episode.